Sean is with us in Colorado Springs. Hey, Sean, how are you? Good, Dave. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. What's up? So, as of June 6th, my family and I are on Baby Step 7. Yay! Yeah, right. So, I, I, I teach a lot at work about your, your, your theories of money and, and your principles, but a lot of people argue this whole credit thing. So I wanted to prove to somebody that you can get a mortgage on a zero credit score. And so I called some lenders, and they're telling me, no, Quicken Mortgage and USAA. That's because Quicken Mortgage and USAA don't hire underwriters. They hire monkeys. And a monkey can make a FICO score, credit uh, uh, mortgage. That Not everybody does manual underwriting. It's not 100% out there. It requires more work from the mortgage company to make a loan to someone that has a zero credit score. But Churchill Mortgage will do one. And, uh, and the interest rate is exactly the same as the interest rate. No, no penalties on the interest rate for it being zero. But, yeah, you can't get a loan from Quicken, which, by the way, I wouldn't freaking get a loan from Quicken anyway. I mean, Rocket Mortgage? Give me a break. Seriously? I mean, you, this is your home mortgage. You're going to deal with online geeks? No. No. Get a traditional mortgage company that knows what the flip they're doing, that actually knows how to do underwriting, and they're not monkeys making loans. You know, you just point at the number. Hmm? If I was to ever do a mortgage again, I would follow your principles, 15-year fix. Yeah. Yeah. And I would use Churchill Mortgage, but I want to know, can I substantiate what I'm saying to people? By calling Churchill Mortgage, you can, yeah. By calling Rocket Mortgage, no. Because they don't make loans that way. Not everybody makes loans on a manual underwriting process. It's more work for the mortgage company. So it's up to that particular mortgage company whether they want to go to all that trouble or not. And these online goobs that are cranking through widgets and the, their customers are numbers, um, they're not ever going to give you high levels of service like that. Yes, sir. I appreciate it. I will uh, reference them to Churchill Mortgage. Easy enough. And other mortgage companies that you know have a full service team that know how to do what you're looking for called manual underwriting. And then you're just fine to do that. But, yeah, if you just want to walk out there and get a loan from a monkey, no, you can't get one with no credit score because a monkey can't compute that. They don't know how to do it. They don't know how to deal with that. Ooh, ooh. You know, point the number, the number. That's The whole loan is made based on the number. And, actually, it's a dumb way of making a mortgage if you think about it because you could have a big number and no job. You could have a big number and no down payment. You could have a big number and get the loan. And uh, these low-doc, no-doc loans that, that are set up are what caused the last financial crisis, and now we're back to doing them again because you're loaning people that shouldn't be getting money, money, and then you get them in trouble. But that's the side from the issue. So anyway, you do what you want to do, and that's the thing. But here's the thing. Convincing people at work, you're not going to convince all of them. I've been doing this for 30 years. There are entire websites devoted to how stupid Dave Ramsey is. While I'm sitting here making people millionaires left and right, and I'm a multimillionaire doing the stupid stuff I teach. So you're not going to convince a whole lot of people. Those convinced against their will are of the same opinion still. A lot of people are just going to continue to go get a car loan. They're always going to have a credit card. They're, you know, What are we arguing about here? We're arguing about, I, I want to go borrow money. Well, okay, go borrow money, stupid. You know, I'm not going to argue with you. That's stupid. It's not the shortest path to building wealth. It's stupid. I'm not going to argue with you about that. And, and, Sean, you shouldn't be. That's what you ought to have in your head. Now, you don't have to be that rude to your coworkers, but in your mind, you ought to go, you know, you're just too stupid to help. This is the Dave Ramsey Show.